Hi, this is John Stevens with uh, MissingDrivers.com. In this video, this is uh, part one of two. Uh, and in this video, we're going to cover just the installation of Driver Detective. In the next video, we'll actually show you how to use Driver Detective. And, and this is uh, an absolutely great product here. It's one I used to use all the time uh, with my computer repair business whenever I was doing tune-ups here. But we'll go ahead and get started here. So simply, we're going to go ahead and, once again, we're on MissingDrivers.com. You can get to the link for this, uh, the Driver Detective link and we'll have the videos here too as well that you can watch uh, directly on the site and just simply save the file or you can run it e e either or uh, we're actually using Firefox and XP but this works great uh, doesn't matter what operating system you're using there and we'll go ahead and, and find the location where you want to save it to most people tend to save it directly to the desktop or into my documents um, usually I just refer to saying hey just save it to the desktop we'll go ahead and hit save oh I already had it download there we are open so we're going to go ahead and run it here. Now, uh, once you hit the run button, if you're using Vista and you have your UAC controller turned on, which it is by default, um, you will have to hit yes, continue, allow this program in. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and run. And you'll see it starting up there. All right. All right, and once that's up, we'll go ahead and hit uh, next. And pretty much, you're you're just gonna want to leave this at, at at all all the basics there. Yes, I would read the terms of service, so you do understand the software. I always recommend reading it. Uh, but it's the same old same old stuff as as regular. Go ahead and accept it. Next. And by default, the path's gonna be right there. Usually, I recommend always keeping it at the default. Uh, there's no reason not to. And same thing here, hit the install. And it's going to go ahead and try to install it now. And keep in mind too, is what it does use, is it does use the uh, uh, .NET software too as well. So if you don't have that installed, it will attempt and go out to uh, um, and actually download the needed software in case you do not have it but uh, it'll be a 50-50 shot of you actually having it or not but don't worry if it asks you to download something else that's called something.net um, you do want to allow it because it's what this program is built off of and what really makes this uh, a great product alright once that's done it will take a minute or two uh, go ahead and just hit finish to launch it now and I did have that box checked that was a, a launch it now so it's going to go ahead and launch the program for me see it loading up and this instance it actually did find the system I was using there however you can hit change if it wasn't uh, it you can actually go here and select your model or you can just uh, uh, select down down below here just saying hey I don't know just scan anyway so it really doesn't matter so we're gonna go back home we're gonna go ahead and hit the scan now button and you'll see it go ahead and go out and scan this is like I said, it's extremely easy to use and uh, um, we are well past the actual installation, but uh, we want to go ahead and show you exactly how this works. Now in the next video, we're going to go ahead and show you uh, all the features and describe to you what you can do. So stay tuned for the next video.